So in the mid-90s, when we decided to regulate diesel engines, the reaction from the industry, both oil and, and diesel engine manufacturers, was the sky's falling. It cannot be done. Well, that was to be expected. But the truth of the matter is, given the fact that this was the first significant regulation that requires significant innovation, we gave the industry 10 years to face in both the NOx and the PM standards. But now, today, a decade has gone by in the States, and these companies have done a tremendous job. Not only they have met the standards, the costs have come down significantly, the engines have improved the fuel efficiency, and they are even doing better than the regulations have required. So for countries, cities, states, areas that are concerned about diesel emissions from the freight sector, marine engines, locomotive, off-road vehicles, this is an opportunity to leapfrog and adapt those standards that we did in the States without really having to give uh, lead time as we did in the States for those technologies. And the results will be significant public health at very low cost. And also you could be addressing with the short-lived carbon black, the 2015 agreement, Paris agreement that many countries have signed off.